Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write a C program to calculate the trace of a matrix. So if we look at the Wolfram method page, then we can find the definition of a trace. That is the trace of an n cross n square matrix is defined as the sum of the diagonal elements. So this is the mathematical form and in more simpler words, it's basically just the sum of the diagonal elements. So there are two things that can be learned from there. That is, it is only defined for a square matrix and then it is basically just the sum of these diagonal elements. So for example, if we have a matrix like this, then it is the, then the trace would be simply 1 plus 5 that is 6 plus 7 that is 13. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write a C program that performs such a task. So let's get started. And also this right here is my blog. So I have written a blog post that is how to calculate the trace of a matrix using a C program. So this is my blog post where I have explained the entire process in extreme detail. So you can even refer to this after the video. So coming back to the program, so head over to your favorite text editor or IDE or whatever you are using for your C language and then just start your program. That is first start by including some of the required libraries or header files. I will I am including the math library, however I don't think that we would be needing that, but I'm just going to go ahead and include that. So now heading to the main part of the program now. Now the first thing that you need from the user is the order of the matrix, that is n. That is, for example, here we have a 3 cross 3 matrix, so the value of n here is 3, so we would need the user to enter that. So just go ahead and declare a variable n and then ask the user to give you this value. So let's say we say enter the order of the matrix. Okay. So the user would just give you this value. So we have percent %d for integer and m percent %n is the value. Okay, so I made a slight typo here. Okay, now that you have the order of the matrix now you can go ahead and create a 2d matrix so to do that just uh, declare a 2d matrix like this so I am creating it of the type double so that it can hold longer decimal numbers and the size of the matrix would be n by n as you can see right here and then the next step would be to ask the user to enter the elements of this matrix so just printf and ask the user to enter the elements of the matrix row wise okay so now there are two ways in which the user could be giving you the elements so we'll prefer the row wise way that is for this particular case, the user would enter the elements like first one, then two, then two, then zero, five, six. So basically, he's entering the elements row wise. All right. So you do that and then you create a loop. That is, okay, so now we will be needing two more variables. So we'll just go ahead and declare those. That is i and j for keeping a track of our loop. So i, so we'll create a loop from i equals zero to i less than n i plus plus then another sub loop or a nested loop i guess from j equals zero to j less than n to j and then we'll increment it by one all right so now we have these two loops so here i is for the row and j denotes the column so basically now we will be just uh, scanning the elements that is uh, they can be of the type double so we will use percent lf and then the m percent a I for the row and J for the column so this method would uh, you know enter the elements row wise of a matrix so when I equals 0 that is we are entering the elements in the first row so J will take values from 0 1 2 up till n so we will enter get the elements of all the columns for the first row then I will increment so we will get the elements for the second row and so on so now we have done two steps that is we have the order of the matrix and then we have got the elements of the matrix so now the next step would be just to calculate the trace and that is pretty easy you just create another loop where i goes from 0 to n again so i less than n 
I++. So basically, you know, if you are familiar with the working of the arrays, then you know that the index starts from zero. So we only need to go to n minus one for n, n cross n matrix. So I hope you guys understand that. And in case you don't, then I have another blog post on my blog explaining the working of the arrays, that is arrays in C programming. The blog name is breakitoff.com and I'll make sure to, you know, put the description, uh, put the links to these blogs in the description down below. So make sure you check them out if you need. And then coming back to the program. Okay, so now we are onto the most crucial part that is calculating the trace. So we start a loop from I equal zero to I'll go, <coughs> sorry. So we start a loop where I goes from zero to I goes to n minus one. And then we basically, we sum the elements of the, uh, we sum the elements at the diagonal positions or basically we are just summing the diagonal elements. So what you do need is you need one more thing that is you need another variable that stores this sum. So we'll just call it the sum and you need to initialize it to zero. And then you are going to assign sum as sum plus AII because AII basically denotes the diagonal elements of the matrix. So what you're doing is initially sum takes the value of zero. Then I starts on zero. It what it does is it changes sum to sum plus AII, that is the zero plus first diagonal element. Okay, then I goes to one, so we are on the second row. So it changes sum to the previous value of sum and plus the next diagonal element, that is A11 and so on. So this is the only part required for calculating the trace. And then finally, you can print this trace by just using this um, printf the trace of the matrix is slash n slash n and it is okay so one more thing um percent left and um sum all right okay so that's it that's the program and now you can just go ahead and executed now it is prompting me to save it so i'll just call it trace and then save it now okay so i need to save it as a c file not a c plus plus file okay so it is now compiling it and executing it okay so the order of the matrix is three i guess and okay so now just let's just come back to this example and try to execute this one okay so now it is prompting me to enter the elements of the matrix row wise. So I'll just go ahead and enter one, two, two, zero, five, one, two, zero, five, six, minus four, two, seven. All right. So we get that the trace of the matrix is 13, which is what we calculated. Okay. Now let's try another example. And this time we want to enter a new line here. So I'm just using backslash n to go to a new line because in the last um, output, it wasn't looking very good. Okay, so now it prompts me to enter the order of the matrix and we say that it is a three cross three matrix again. And then we enter the elements of the matrix. That is we enter the number. Then I'm clicking tab right here. Okay, so in case you're wondering how I'm going, you know, this I'm adding the space. So I'm just hitting tab on my keyboard so and then i enter five then i will hit tab again and enter six you could also hit enter and it will work just the same but i'm using tab because it it is uh, you know now i hit enter actually now when i went on a six and i hit enter so to come to the next line because it uh, you know looks good and it's easier to understand and look at it as a matrix so then you can click five tab minus seven or five one and then five six and zero point zero blah blah, blah 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 enter okay so now we get that the trace is minus 3.96 and let's just check the math right real quick so it is one minus five that's minus four and then minus four plus something so okay it looks all right to me so that's it that's how you calculate the trace of the matrix i hope you guys um, enjoyed this program or this tutorial and learned how to calculate the trace of the matrix in case you enjoyed the video and liked it then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more videos like this uh, well that's it thanks for watching and have a great day